Uh, what if your reaction is actually happening in basic solution? Then you don't use H+, plus, you use hydroxide. So you balance using H2O and hydroxide. So what you do is wherever you find, you can, one strategy is to balance it as if you were doing it in acidic solution. And then wherever you see the H+, plus, just replace that by H2O and then add hydroxide to the other side because uh, that will take care of uh, the... Uh, that will replace that would get rid of any H plus in your balance half reaction. Okay? And you may need to simplify it because water might appear on both sides. Let's illustrate that with what we just had earlier. What was our balance equation? Sixteen and two, one and eight. Okay. Fourteen electrons. Okay. There are fourteen electrons plus sixteen H plus plus two perchlorates gives you how much? Cl2 plus 8H2O. That's what we had, right? Let's just make sure. Yeah, that's what we have. So if, if this were to actually happen in basic solution, then I don't want H plus in my half reaction. Basic solution, I should have more H, more hydroxide. So I'm going to replace this by 16 waters. And then every H plus that I replace with a water, in essence, what did I do to my H plus to change it to a water? I combine it with a hydroxide, right? So if I had 16 of these H pluses combined to, with all hydroxides to make water, then I have to add 16 hydroxides to the other side. Okay? And so my balanced half reaction in basic solution would be 14 electrons plus 16 H2O plus 2 perchlorate yields Cl2 plus 8 H2O plus 16 hydroxides. Now, uh, one last step you need to do here is to simplify. You see 16 waters here and 8 waters here. What do you do with that? That means that's a net loss of just 16, of 8, right? You start with 16, you end up with 8, so you can just get rid of this 8 and then take re replace that by 8. So that's a final answer here. You would have 14 electrons plus 8 H2O plus 2 perchlorates yields Cl2 plus 16 hydroxides. That's your balance equation. Let's verify that it is in fact balanced. Chlorines, you've got two on each side. Hydrogens, you have 8 times 2, that's 16, that's 16 hydrogens. Oxygen, you have 8 plus 8, that's 16 oxygens, and you have 16 oxygens right here as well. So it's balanced. As far as charges go, this is negative 14 plus 0 plus 2 times negative 1. That's a total charge of negative 16 on the left. And the total charge on the right is also negative 16. 16 times negative 1. Okay, you have 16 of those hydroxides. It's negative 16. So that's your balance half reaction. Okay. Now, um, there is an alternative strategy for doing this. And this one, some teachers prefer this because they don't like the idea of putting H plus when it's in basic solution and then making the adjustment later. So you can actually just balance using, uh, using hydroxide and water at the outset. Okay, so let's illustrate that second strategy with this. Whichever one you feel comfortable with, you can use. I'm fine with it. I, I only care about the final answer that it's balanced. Okay, so here you have C, of course, you need to know how to do it. ClO4 minus gives you Cl2. What should I do here? First step, balance all atoms besides oxygen and hydrogen. So what do I do? I need two chlorines, right? And the next step is this. To the side with excess hydrogen, you add hydroxide. Why? Because that excess hydrogen, combine that with hydroxide, will give you water on the other side. See? So I... Do I have any excess oxygen here? I don't, so I can't use that. So let's go on to the next step right here. If you have a, and if you have an excess oxygen on one side, okay, combine that with H2O, 
on that side. Add more H2O to that side. What happens to the other side? You got two oxygens and two hydrogens. To balance that on the other side, you add two hydroxides to the other side. Okay, so for every extra oxygen, I add water. So which side has an extra oxygen here? Left or right? Two times four. I have eight oxygens here, right? No oxygen here. So how many waters do I add to the left side? Every oxygen extra, I add a water. So I add eight water to this side. And then what do I add to the other side? Twice as many hydroxide. So 8 times 2, 16 hydroxide. Okay, and then the final step, you have to balance your charges, and you'll find that you're going to have to add 14 electrons to this side. And that's the same uh, balance half reaction we saw earlier. Okay, so that's how it's done. Same thing right here.